This HAN Network video is brought to you by Northeast Building Supply, the Kitchen Center, Weed and Durier. On the campus of Fairfield Ward High School, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Winter Sports Tour. I'm Frank Renito sitting alongside the basketball captains for the Mustangs. They are Daniel Fitzpatrick, Malcolm Brune, and Sean Conway. Boys, thank you for taking time with us this afternoon. Dan, let me start with you here. Being back on the court alongside your teammates, what have the emotions been like starting up this season? Uh, well, so far it's been really exciting, you know, uh, finally getting a chance to get back in our own gym. Uh, we've been working all off season as a group, you know, get better than we were last year. You know, we have some unfinished business. Uh, lost in the second round of states, lost in the first round of FCX. We'd like to get past that this year. So, you know, it's just excited to have another go at it. And Malcolm, let's talk a little bit about the off season into preseason now, going back through the fall. What has training and practice been like for the Mustangs so far? Uh, we, we've been in the gym a lot. Um, we've, we've all been working together uh, as a team. We're getting better as a team already. Our chemistry is looking pretty good this year. Uh, it's, all, it's, a, it's looking like a good season. Well, Sean, for it to be a good season this year, what do you think the one key factor the Mustangs will have to be very good at? Um, I think we've got to play great man-to-man -man defense, um, share the ball, just play with each other, you know, use each other to um, get better, and, um, you know, just have, have fun. Yeah. Well, you guys will get your first chance to have some fun against Stratford in a scrimmage this upcoming weekend. What do you really want to see the guys get out of that game? Um, we've thrown in a good amount of new sets, so I think we want to, you know, work on some get some new plays going, see how they work, and uh, just keep, get better at defense, yeah. Malcolm, obviously with every year you're going to lose some players to graduation, a new group comes in. What role does you three play as captains now in helping to get those new players acclimated to the yeah, varsity well, squad? Um, a lot of our new players are, are pretty young, so as, as us being seniors, uh, our, our really a big role is to just to teach them, uh, to teach them our, our defense and our plays, get, get them comfortable with the game. Dan, you talked a little bit about the postseason last year. How is that experience, though, going to be a benefit for the Mustangs this year, having gotten into the tournament and knowing what it will take to win now? Well, since we know what it's going to uh, take to win this year, you know, we have a different idea of uh, what the expectations will be going into the game. Last year, we were you know, kind of new to the scene. It was the first time you know, this program under Coach Waller had been into the second round of states. So I think this year, you know, we'll be a little more ready for the competition. You know, uh, we got bumped down to uh, Division Two instead of Division One. So I think uh, having been in Class Double L last year, we'll be even more prepared for the second level this year. Uh, my only question left for you guys would just be your legacy. When this season comes to an end, how do you want this team to be remembered compared to those in the past year at Ward? We got we to gotta put a banner on the wall. Got to gotta leave this gym, you know come back 10 years from now and say we, we put a, we put a 2017 championship on that wall. Well, we're rooting for you guys, and we're really excited to see the Mustangs out there on the court. Thanks for taking time with us today, and good luck this season. Thank, Thank you. you. Alongside the Mustangs basketball captains, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Winter Sports Tour. Stay tuned as we roll on through the rest of the conference.